Hello there guys, this is Robin Hood and today I have a 2 vs 2 that was played in Shogun Total War on the Slumbering Settlement map. And this army build that I'm using and this video are, and battle that is, actually are very special for one reason. Now first I'll introduce everyone. Here's my ally, Chris Ebb, my army, Rainbow of Katana Samurai, uh, our opponents, Seti Sangwu or whatever, and Cobra. And they brought some weird armies. This guy brought pretty much, well, he has a few melee units, but pretty much all skirmish units. This guy brought all sword units, which was perfect. Absolutely perfect. They have hidden cav, though. But, um... For old time's sake, old videos, those of you who have been s subscribers for a long time should remember this. Uh, those of you who are new might have seen it other places or maybe have seen one of my older videos, don't know. But one of the old army bills that was fairly infamous, no, not Lone Sword Spam, and uh, fairly useful actually, is what you see here, the Katana Cav Horde. I used to bring five this battle I brought four uh, usually you don't bring skirmisher units because it's a massive rush army I brought one though because it's almost a necessity these days then my other calf here trying to chase off his bow calf but the katana calf horde special to me I won so many battles with it and cavalry my favorite thing on the planet in pretty much any total war game because I don't know, it's just so fun to use Cav. It allows you to use your micro better than almost any other m unit, in my opinion. And, uh, I just love using Cavalry. Like, Cavalry is my thing. So, this battle, I was like to Chris, we'd played a few battles. I'm just like, dude, we might lose this, but I am gonna bring back my Katana Cav for it. And what that involves is spears for guarding your rear. Katana Cav, obviously, and then Katana Samurai to follow up. Now, Katana Cav, uh, you, even if there's spears there, the thing that I love about Katana Cav, when you bring them in mass like this, uh, I used to bring, like I said, five to six of them, so that could really cause trouble, especially when you can micro them really well, and I have made a point in my Total War Shogun 2 days to get fairly decent, not the best, but pretty darn good at cav micro. Have some older videos of me tearing apart armies with cav. Uh, just cav, pretty much, even though I had a main army. But, you charge this, especially into an all sword army, it's gonna wreck. That's why I was so happy when I saw this. Second of all, it causes so much confusion, bottles up their army so that when your samurai hit, uh, they're pretty much done for. Now, the reason I was nervous about bringing this is because of some of the Naginata builds that you see today that are, for some reason, very popular, although I find them not to be that effective, uh, even when they're used well. Yeah, and there's heavy gunners somewhere okay. causing problems. Yeah, got some of my cav as, as I sent it over to join in this hidden cav fight. Or by hidden, I mean my opponent's cav charged Chris Ebbs, And uh, it was hidden, so I'm going to get a nice flank attack here. And we're really kind of going to cut through this enemy cav. Now, my, my opponent also has cav. There's bow cav, and then he has a fire cav hidden which is actually going to destroy my fire calf because I don't see it coming. Yes, my lovely pink fire calf. Wonderful. Like I said, tried to make my army a lot more colorful here, as you can see, except for some of the famous units like... Well, not them. Let's see, do I have them? <laughs> Raw berry. Love that unit name. Nope, don't have any of them with me. But, like, the Iron Brigade has their set colors. And, uh... Over here is all this, but here it goes. Chris is going to let me charge first all across this line. I am just going to smack into these sword units with my cav and really just cause problems. I mean, like, literally across this entire line. Over here, getting these heavy gunners and bows. Uh, my katana cav might have helped over here in just stopping this gunfire, which is going to shred some of my units. This one 
lost most of its men under that heavy gun fire, as you can see from this trail. But, yeah, this is pretty much a skirmisher-only army. I've got my general here bringing in my attendants and got my bows firing. Uh, that was my only mistake, sending most of my swords over here when they were needed over here. And I noticed that and started pulling out units and bringing them over. At this point, well, actually, it looks like my fire cab won that because they were veteran. And my opponent's fire cab weren't. And, yeah, I don't even think I ever really noticed this fight until watching the replay. So, bit bit of a fail there, being aware. But overall, look at this. My Katana Cav is now coming over from just cleaning house on this army. I mean, literally shredding through it uh, with very minimal losses. Like, all of this, enemy dead, and I don't think I see one dead horse. If I, yeah, I don't. And that's where my Katana Cav hit, over here. Well, I don't quite know what happened. It looks like the heavy gunners survived, which is weird because they shouldn't have in the actual battle. So that's a bit of a bug. Over here, my horse has died a little bit, but now my katana cab's over here around behind my opponent, uh, doing some hammer and anvils and stuff, and really just overall causing problems. Here comes my fire cab, so I didn't notice them. They're gonna smack into these. What are these? Matchlock, Ashigaru, cut through them. Katana Cav still alive and strong, running around, killing stuff. And that was very easy victory. I got all close to 2,000 kills that battle because I wrecked pretty much both armies. And that that is in no way uh, anything to do with Chris not being there. He was there. It's just, I said, hey, that's a sword army, and let my cab get the charge on that so that it just cuts through it quickly. And, uh, you know, that's just communication. We saw that I had the thing that could really cut through that army and make it easy to win this battle. And that's what you want. So he stopped moving forward, let me get the charge, and then followed up behind. Uh, got in there, did some stuff, but... My cav just cut through it, got around behind my opponent, and cut through him also. So that's, that's how it went. Feel really good now, having used my katana cav horde. Don't think I'll use that much more of it though, because, uh, you know, you do see a lot of sword builds these days. But you also see, I'm finding, especially among Air of Carthage fan group people, Tons of Naginata builds. And if I were to bring a Katana Cav Horde against Naginata, uh, I mean, it wouldn't work the way it should. I guess I could charge my swords in and do hammer and handvils, anvils, that is, uh, with the Katana Cav, which would be devastating, but still, it's a gamble when you focus your army around Cav and fight a spear army. So, uh, and a gamble that is more even today than it used to be when Lone Sword Spam was the thing and you knew you would be fighting swords. So that's all for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, please leave a rating and a comment and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.